All right, guys, I have the most ripped guy I'll ever have on Legends Last, celebrity trainer Brandon, also known as B.Motivated on Instagram. We're gonna crush it today, so got some good stuff for you guys. What's up, baby? Appreciate you having me, man. Hey, <laughs> yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God. Today we got a special guest, Brandon. Uh, probably for me, like a huge inspiration actually in fitness. I've actually been following you for a while, man. Appreciate so that. I am a, I actually am a be motivated guy. Appreciate I took that. the, I took the basic course. It was solid workouts. Um, and one thing that I really want to do to kick this off is I'm always curious. How do people get started? Because there was a day probably where you're like, hey, I want to get ripped. Yeah. Do you remember that day? Yeah. <laughs> what was man. That so for me, for me. I mean, how far back you want to go and how deep you want to take this story. Like, I want to take this deep, man. All right, like, so, like, it, you can't change somebody that doesn't want to change, right? And you have to want to mm -hmm. make the change yourself. So that's what it took for me. And it was, I was living in Palmdale. Mm -hmm. You know where Palmdale is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. So Palmdale, hour north of LA, and there's, there's nothing, as mm -hmm. you know. It's just desert. So really, like, what is there to do? It's get in trouble. Yeah. And it's like, usually, usually it's unfortunate, but that's what a lot of places like that are. You take valleys, you take spots like that. When there's nothing else to do, kids end up getting in trouble a lot. For sure. And um, I was... I was just surrounded with the wrong crowd, bro. Hanging out with the wrong people. I was up there. I felt like I was isolated away from a lot of things because LA is just far enough that you just don't come, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, and you just have too much time on your hands out there. And so granted, I was working two jobs. Um, I knew I was gonna get out. I was gonna go to university. I was at a uh, community college up there. So this is right after high school? This is right after high school. Okay. Yeah, so um, community college, working, everything. And I knew I was gonna get out and I would look around at my friends and, and nobody really had a plan mm -hmm. or a dream or a goal or this. Everybody up there just goes through the motions and it was like, um, I had, bro, just a lot of just crazy shit. I had um, one of my friends was stabbed at a party, bro, passed wow. away. Uh, another one of my friends OD'd on Oxycontin, passed away, you know what I mean? And we were at the hospital and I had seen it happen. So it's like, it was after that, that I was like, bro, this isn't for me. And I wasn't asking. Those, those were close friends? The closest, that's, yeah. That's people that I would man. see all the time, almost yeah. every day. And um, it was, I was an athlete, I played soccer 14 years. I yeah. quit and really when I quit, it was just like, I just ended up partying because there was nothing else to do, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I didn't have anything that I was like, Putting consistent way of putting that energy into you know what i mean so i was just partying hanging out this and that and um yeah man it was a uh, it was it was just a dark time bro granted like you look at it in, in in the time itself you feel like you're having fun in moments uh, but overall from the outside looking in it's just it was a dark time bro where you don't really know who you are find yourself this and that so um i cut everybody off and really just deaded all my friends, like didn't talk to anybody. I was gonna leave to go to university um, after that summer. Yeah. And it was that summer that I started working out because I had nothing else to do, you know? And I wanted to put my energy into something positive and I found, um, I had found that like the gym did that. I needed, I needed something to release that like athleticism in me, you know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, and that's what did that for me and I started working out and fuck from there it was like, not to say that I've been consistent ever since, but um, it was it was a start for me to really start working on health and start working on myself and doing shit like that. So so that first moment jumping into the gym, did you actually see like were you thinking like this could even be a career or was it just like hey oh, I like not the, at all, bro. I like I like the feeling. It, I didn't even really like the feeling. <laughs> like it, no, I got in and it was like I didn't because you you come in first day and you're like lost puppy, bro. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like don't know what to do. Um, I'm wearing like skate shoes in the gym. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I was like out of my element for real because I never like, that's that's not the workouts that I ever did. Mm -hmm. I would do athletics, soccer, yeah. this, that, you know what I mean? So uh, no, going in at all, like nothing. But it was enough to get, to have me interested enough to want to learn more. Mm -hmm. And so from there it was, it was me researching and looking up and finding out more and doing this and like, what what really do you have to do to take your body to the next level how do you actually put on muscle what do you gotta eat you know what i mean yeah. and i'm i'm just like a very um like i'm just one of those people that like if i want something i'll figure it out and i'll go do all the research myself and i'll find out how to do it you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so that's what it was for me and that was it's actually interesting you said this you said you cut off everybody you isolated yourself 
and then you kind of win it and that's something that i always found myself doing yeah every time i actually level up i actually do some variation of this now i'm actually at a point where i've learned to like kind of have people around me as yeah. i'm growing but when i was first starting off because i actually had a, my best friend died in a car crash too uh, right after high school yeah driving to a party and that shifted my whole perspective on life i was like god damn actually it made me make decisions with the am i doing this if i didn't do this would i regret it at the end of my life i always thought with that yeah it was you like think with intention exactly it's different yeah exactly so when you're thinking with you know that next step of like hey i just want to get healthy was that the first goal or is it like i actually want to be ripped or no nah, it's just i was super skinny i was like bro i was 100 and like you gotta think out of high school i was like 124 pounds so like yeah. small bro you yeah. know what i mean super super skinny see my rib cage everything was it, you know what I mean? was it the photo though with the you know you have yeah. one photo oh that yeah. like my actual like belly sticking yeah, out yeah. yeah so they're they're like yeah 120 like seven maybe you know what i mean mm -hmm. but like everything else super skinny and i just had like a beer belly because i would just drink beers all the time okay yeah it was just like beer alcohol bro <laughs> weed eat like whatever pizza and like del taco like on a daily basis which is which is crazy like me looking at that and thinking about that is like it's, it's crazy but it was my reality bro yeah that's what it was that is insane man and it's actually interesting because like you know really jumping into the fitness space you said about five years right yeah it's been about five years and i one thing i really admired about you is like you're not just about fitness you're actually about like a person's mindset and every single week I've seen at least one thing of like you're just dropping some wisdom you know something that's like more than fitness yeah so right now you're like living with a ton of intention right yeah. I feel like it yeah. right you're helping thousands of people so when was that shift where you went from like all right I'm going through the motions to like hey I actually have a mission was there was that like another time period no or, it was, was um, it a transition no it, it was a transition because I was doing let me think. I started my Instagram 2015. Mm -hmm. um, 2015, so it really would only be four years now. And I wasn't actually training anybody uh, until that year. So it's, yeah, four years. And I was, honestly, I started working out, just like posting up videos just mm -hmm. because I, I've just, I feel like I've always had somewhat of a creative mind and certain things get boring, but also there was just time, situations that I found myself in the gym, right? You go to the gym during rush hour, it's fucking packed, bro. So it's <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? There's no bench, there's no this, there's no that. So originally the videos that I was posting when I first got on Instagram was like, you can do this workout with this piece of equipment and still get the same results that you would if you were using that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to show people that there was like just more creative options. And I would do like little comedy videos and stuff like that. But it was, it wasn't until um, the response got bigger from it, right? Mm -hmm. And people, I mean, your following grows and stuff like that. But it's also people reaching out like, yo, I've been trying these workouts and like, damn, this really got me over my hump. Or like, yo, like some of the things that you were saying actually got me off my ass into the gym. And like, you know what I mean? So it was it was the response from the people coming back to me. I mean, letting me know, first of all, that I am on, my, I am on the right path, right? Yeah. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm in the space that I'm supposed to be in. Um, it was all like um, affirmations and reassurances to me that like, this is where I need to be and this is what I need to keep doing. And um, yeah, it's like once the following grew just a little bit, it was, I mean, messages and comments, stuff like that, that got my mindset shifting like, all right, I almost feel like I have a mission to do this for people now, right? So at first I was just doing it. And if people took something from it, cool. But now it almost feels like uh, my purpose to give people that, you know what I mean? So like that's what it's transitioned into. So was it something where, you know, when you first started, you know, you got that feedback and it was kind of like a surprise or you were, you were even looking for it or no, it just happened? No, it just happens. And it is, it is a surprise. It's just like, oh cool like yeah this person like watch my video or you see like someone of someone of like or or like at the time a celeb like this is dope and you're like oh dope like or an athlete mm -hmm. like this or like commented on this you know what i mean yeah. so those those again like affirmations and like reassurances and stuff like that so it was like it was as that was building um 
just just my mindset is changing as well right mm -hmm. and i'm becoming more knowledgeable and i go and i read more and i you know what i mean i'm getting more experience in the gym and i'm doing this i'm doing that and i'm getting experience with clients so it's all like i'm growing while i'm giving you know what i'm saying which is so everything that i'm taking i'm trying to give back to my audience and and they're receiving it mm -hmm. and all of all of like the comments and stuff that back is like they're they receive it and they receive it well and they come back to me and tell me about it which is great you know but um yeah, it was it, as it was growing, I mean, and then I had, my thing started, really, really popped off. I was training people, mm -hmm. just like random people, um, stuff like that, and really just to make money. Yeah, Cause just kind of get by. Just to get by, just because I knew I didn't, I didn't want to do what I was doing. I didn't want to do investment portfolios in Northwestern Mutual. I didn't want to do um, head hunting yet. So, so you had a full-time job, full-time yeah. jobs. Then you're doing Tool, personal tra yeah, training twice. Part time. <laughs> yeah. Part time. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so it was like I was a uh, so I was doing headhunting right when I got out of college. Um, got a job at uh, at Robert Half, and I was doing headhunting for law firms. Wow. Um, which is a great agency. It was a great job, and honestly, it could have been a really great opportunity if I stuck with it. Mm -hmm. But it just like I thought that's who I wanted to be. You know what I mean? I thought I wanted to be in a suit every day and at work and this and that, you know what I mean? Like you see like, uh, I don't know why, like my, my, my immediate vision went to uh, the video of Ryan Gosling and Steve Carell, he just okay. always fly, you yeah. know what I mean? And so like, that was my vision of myself. And like then, I'm gonna when, be that dude. When you, so when did you first kind of have that idea? It was like success, I guess, right? That's, yeah, that was, that was my idea of like, that's what success looks like, yeah. right? And that was coming out of college and I really didn't even know what I wanted to do coming out of college. I was just like in the the gym was still just like a thing. I was just working out for myself. You know what I love about what you said right now is because you said coming out of college, you still had no idea at all. Yeah. No idea. At People all. act like their life is over at the end. Like they have their first job, they're like, it's yeah. too late to go for what I want. No, I'm too old. <laughs> no. So what I, what I found about college, at least for myself, the way that I look at it is that college college is a period of your life to explore and find out and learn about yourself you're growing this and that also to build connections that puts you in a network where you're almost forced to talk to people right Definitely. if you want to have a good college experience or if you want to do well and then on top of that it it's it's a time management thing so it's like getting around classes plus if you have to work like me i had to work through my whole college career mm -hmm. so career but all my college but um, it's, it's, it teaches you time management. It teaches you little things about life, right? So it's like, I, I couldn't tell you what classes in college I took that actually taught me something about what my life is now, you know what I mean? But yeah. the experience of it and doing this and like, maybe you gotta go do something you don't wanna do, you know what I mean? I don't wanna go to class, bro, but I have to. I don't wanna learn about this subject, but I need to do it in order to pass. So like for me, when I think of college, I look at it and I think about people that are like really stressing about what they want to do with their lives and maybe mm -hmm. this isn't the right thing or like, oh, maybe I didn't choose the right major, this and that. You know how many people I know that had never ever used their majors and they kill, bro. This, they're so successful. There's so many, there's like a statistic, like 60% of people that go leave college don't end up in that field. It's at like, all. yeah, it's crazy. At all. Yeah. And the most successful people that I know are people that didn't do anything with their major. Man, you're, you're a lucky guy, man. You just kind of, no, you're lucky. No, you're, no, it's actually, I'm just kind of like so amazed how you kind of went and were on your path and then you kind of found something you kind of liked and then you kind of went and went with that feeling Yeah. and you kept going with that feeling and then you, you just believed in yourself and it just kind of kept, you know, work, it just, it worked out. Obviously you put in tons of time and hour, yeah. hours, but you know, for a lot of people, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, you, you believe in yourself like a ton. Yeah. You took that leap. Because obviously at one point you got a job and then you had to make a transition, right? So what was that like? So working um, the downtown job, it was, it was, it was a good gig and I had a lot of freedom and it was cool and I had to, and I could spend a lot of time at the office and I could like meet with clients and this and that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but it's not, at the end of the day, I knew that's not where I wanted to be, you know what I mean? And it was, it was just picking up like little clients on the side, mm -hmm. you know, and like building enough people on the side that I'm now making enough money here to pay um, everything that I need to pay at home. I can pay everything that this job is paying me. So granted, I could have done both at the same time mm -hmm. and I could have made both the money and I could have side hustled this one, you know what I mean? Which 
honestly probably would be the best thing to do in terms of like if you want to save and save this and you can save money on the back end this and that but i was like bro i don't i don't want to go down there and go to work every day mm -hmm. I, I, I don't find it fun you know mm -hmm. what i mean i don't like i don't find total enjoyment it doesn't fulfill me doing that right so let me cut it talk to my talk to my boss and just told him like i'm i'm gonna try some out i'm gonna go into fitness and it's funny because both of my bosses him and then my northwestern mutual boss both of them are like good luck <laughs> yeah oh you want to be what a personal trainer good luck yeah but if you want to come back cool i'll see you <laughs> i'll see other you. than that yeah other than that like you walk out the door like i was yeah it's good <laughs> luck right and so granted like not to say that they weren't wrong i quit my first job and like i, I lost clients went broke bro couldn't pay my car wow. like i got i got excited got out got my job this that by myself like drop top bmw mm -hmm. um i had a condo in studio in uh sherman oaks mm -hmm. um all of this bro and once i quit that job a couple months passed lose some clients this that you don't have the same money coming in what do you do you know what i mean i can't pay my bills mm -hmm. can't pay my car and like there is nothing more like it's a shitty feeling it's just so whack bro to to have a car that you can't put gas into mm -hmm. to me you know what i mean and so i feel like that's it's like such a thing in los angeles is like so many people want to flex before they're ready you know what i mean yeah. and that was me and i learned the hard way so it's mm -hmm. like i went and got the things that i wanted that look cool this and that blah mm -hmm. blah bro there's nothing more whack than like having some shit like that that you for real can't pay for and that was a lesson that i learned so um fuck almost almost lost it almost lost my car luckily my landlord was dope as hell um and just and just said like i know you'll pay me and i know you're paying that's me. the things that people don't see because i didn't you know no. yeah you know, that's like was it would you say that was your lowest like low lowest point oh yeah because at that point it's like well, I, I know that this is where i want to be i just don't know what to do you know what i mean and you almost feel you just feel lost in the situation of of fuck what i do next you know what i mean what is the next move that i make for do i go out there and hustle for clients and so i did right and um like i have a post that did really well a story like a lot of people contacted me about it of me i talk about like i was i was at running canyon hanging up posters i was at whole foods hanging up posters in the community board i was doing all this with, with tear offs of my number and shit like that bro i, would go, I went back mm -hmm. not one number gone <laughs> right so it's like when you're low and they kick you again you go lower and it's like if you want to do something with your life, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want your own way, you want to carve your own path, and you want you want to be successful on your own, though, this is the shit that you need to go through. And you need to hit low ass points and know like, fuck, I, I can only go up clearly, you know what I mean? It's, it can't, it's, can't possibly get worse than this, right? Mm -hmm. And so you got to hit a rock bottom at some point where it really makes you question like, damn, is this shit for me? Should I just go get a job? Should I just like, you know what I mean? Should I settle? Should I fucking, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's where I feel like a lot of people reach that position or they or they do they open up companies that maybe necessarily didn't do well the first time around, right? Mm -hmm. Because they made a mistake or they just they just didn't know what they were doing. And they fail and then it becomes a thing of I'm comfortable now with this new gig, you know what I mean? It, I really it's the same thing that in, same thing in every industry every industry you know, bro. it doesn't matter it's actually because i actually don't know too much about like some of the barriers like someone in health or fitness goes through i've just never been in that space you know yeah. i've always been healthy but it's actually crazy that you know you're literally because I, I do work with a lot of people that are entrepreneurs they, they want to make more money they're starting their first business for me i've had multiple businesses that have failed i failed so many times year after year yeah. the first for you few years I was just trying to survive, literally, after years. And then I got to that point where something clicked, and then I just had exponential growth. Yeah. You know? But most people, I feel like they don't stick it. And this probably relates to fitness, maybe. Like, they don't stick with something long enough to actually get the reward. To get the reward, yeah, or get the result that they were looking for. Mm -hmm. So then it, it becomes a thing of either you make an excuse, or you do this or that, or like, you know what I mean? This wasn't right, oh, maybe this isn't for me, maybe, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Without just really like sticking to that shit, bro, crawling through the dirt, doing all like the dirty shit, you know what I mean? And like really, really struggling and then making it happen. And it's like, that's what it is. It's never like this, bro. It's gonna be like this, and then maybe like this, and then finally like this. And it's like that's after that experience, I'm just curious because after that experience where you hit rock bottom or you you went to a low point, right? You're struggling. For me, I've gone through something like that years ago, and what I do now is every time I get a win, 
I actually get this weird feeling. I'm like, dude, I got to double down and work more. Yeah. I have to go more. Yeah, in. it makes you more hungry. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, you, it's like, it's, um, it's a hunger thing. I don't know. And I think that's like, like I, I'm like that. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have that, that type of spirit, right? Once you get something, you're like, all right, I, I want more, I want more, I want more. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's great because you want to continue to grow and you want to continue to learn, you know? And there are people that I feel like they get something and almost they reward themselves a little too much or they're content with like that, that win there, you know what I mean? Which they should be as well. I think you should be grateful and accept the situation for what you just did, right? Yeah. But at the same time, like, how far do you want to take it? So let me ask you, man. You, right now, you're working with people, and they're in that place. Mm -hmm. Everybody that I mean, maybe some person is happy with their physique, but yeah. ideally, they're reaching out to you because they want to help. Yeah. So what what do you see? What's the difference between your best clients and the ones that aren't getting results? Like, what are the top? three traits the people that want it and that's it and everything anything in life comes bad to it comes down to if you want it or not right mm -hmm. so like i have clients that i have clients that doesn't matter what time of the day we got to train doesn't matter what workout we got to do doesn't matter if i tell them they got to eat this and this is all they got to eat they're like i'm doing it fuck it if this is it's a very it's a very simple uh formula if you think about it right the formula, it's man. a very simple <laughs> formula so it's like if you do this right and you eat this and you you know what i mean you don't do this and you don't eat this and you stay consistent with that you're going to make progress on, on what you want to do and like and that's it do this eat this stay consistent with it you're going to be fine right and this is but this is me giving them these are exactly the things that you need to eat. This is what you need to do. And I'll shop with clients. I'll take them to the grocery store and buy the food for them. There's clients that I've cooked for, you know what I mean? Um, to show them how to cook it, this and that. I have clients that have like maids, I show their maids how to cook it for them. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, but it's it's the ones that are like, I don't really like to eat vegetables. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, well, I mean, I understand that, but at the same time, it's like you're, you're in a, like an adult and mm -hmm. you can't eat a vegetable. Mm -hmm. To me, that's just like, that at that point kind of is an excuse, right? Yeah. Uh, but it is, it is what it is. We try to work around it. I try to find them a vegetable that they like, but it, but then there's only two vegetables for them to choose from, so now it gets old, right? You think, I mean, I don't know what, I feel like, I'm just gonna throw, I feel, you feel like people are just like, they're so used to instant gratification. Yeah. And I actually feel like they're weak. Like they're just, oh, no, they 100%. just can't, they're just weak. 100%, 100%. <laughs> and, and people, not to say that people are so stuck in ways that they won't change because everybody can change, right? Mm -hmm. If if they, but it, again, it comes down to how, how bad do you want it? But like, there are people that, um, they just, they, this is the interesting thing, right? I have a really successful clients. When it comes to making money, mm -hmm. they will do what they have to do. They gotta wake up at two o'clock in the morning and, and trade some stocks. <laughs> yeah. They gotta, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, whatever it is when it comes to that, they will do. When it comes to their health, it, it's 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 not a correlation there and the thing is like for me too i think in terms of like the most successful people right you you think of like the really most successful people you read about them mm -hmm. um talk to them i'm sure you interview a few and stuff like that these are people that they wake up at four o'clock in the morning and they jog mm -hmm. you know what i mean to get their minds right to wake themselves up you know what i mean to get their brains going and then they work they do things like that and they stay they stay solid on their health and fitness they stay decent with their diets not to say that it's got to be the best always but um they stay decent why because they know that this is the best thing for them to perform the most efficiently whether it's physically or mentally mm -hmm. right they'll Dude, have more energy yeah definitely their brain will work better they'll think a little sharper it's things like that and so it's like i try to implement that into my clients especially especially like um just like my, my successful clients right that like these are all tools and when you put them all together you know what i mean like right now you're a beast but like bro you could be a you could be a completely different beast, bro. And this like puts your entire life on a spectrum of, of just consistency, right? You, you are now consistent in every different aspect of your life. And that to me is the goal. And that's the thing you're helping them with. You're kind of, you're helping them go from like, hey, you're, you're a fucking phenomenal or top performer to yeah. you're phenomenal. Yeah. For you sure. want to be a fucking legend, bro? <laughs> that's you want to be saying. a legend, that's bro? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? No, I'm with you. And I, it's actually something for me, like, 
I like I said I was at 16% body fat like two months ago I felt like shit yeah I was like looking at myself I was like damn I remember I used to be ripped yeah <laughs> you know and then it's not even about the look the look is cool to like look good but it's like I don't know there's something about me jumping on the treadmill and I could bust out two miles in like 13 minutes oh yeah you know it's just yeah. like and then I go into my workplace I'm like dude I'm just like optimizing like you said energy throughout yeah. the whole day like I'm, I'm in shape yeah so you, and you're just pushing you know what i mean when you push yourself like that physically it's 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 just a it i mean even biologically it releases mm -hmm. different endorphins mm -hmm. you know what i mean and there's there are things about that when you continue to push yourself here you you will excel in other aspects of your life so what motivates you though because you're doing some stuff yeah it's not even like you know, i'm gonna i'm in shape that's like yo i'm gonna do a backflip to a push-up to another yeah. backflip i'm gonna jump over this car <laughs> i'm gonna I'm jump, jump over, over this car you know what i'm saying this. so what, like like what do you opt like what's motivating you to go that far so mine is so like i always I want to be as creative as possible with my content. Mm -hmm. So now it's like now like Instagram is such a it's clearly it's just content, but now my life has become so content heavy that it's like mm -hmm. um, once you get to a certain point, your business is online, social media is like a, a, one of the main platforms you pushing it. If I'm not pushing content, what 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 good is my product, right? What mm -hmm. good is um, the consistency? What good is like the the end result of my product? So I have to continuously keep push content, push the limits, and push like levels. So for me. Uh, I almost go into every different, every different like workout. If I'm doing a video or something like that, it's it's okay. What what do I have to do now that I that I didn't do in the last video, right? What do I got to do? Okay, cool. I did the backflip to of the push up. Now I got to do like, I might have to do a backflip with like a push up to another backflip on this yeah. one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's it's like always, it's it's just I I ha like have to raise a bar, right? I got to do something new. I got to come out with something else creative. I got to do like this. And so for me, that's my like mental stimulation, right? It's like, okay, what can I do with this? What can I do with that? And then, I mean, at the same time, it's just like, to me, it's fun, mm -hmm. you know, but it's, it's continuously pushing my athleticism to the next level. So it's not just about like flex and showing off that I can do something like this because like we were talking before this, it's like you can look you can look on my page, just photos of me, transformation photos of me, old photos of me, of me when I was like 127. Um, bro, beard one hand, a cigarette in the other hand. Like, I, I couldn't do 10 push ups and my life depended on it. You know what I mean? So, to show people that this is what I was and, and this is what you can become, you know what I mean? It's, it's I think, um, I mean, hopefully inspiring for people. And that's one thing I actually noticed for people that are more onto like business and stuff like that, the way that you actually have your stuff set up and you're pushing your content and the quality of it and the way you're raising the bar, it's something that um, there's a lot, like I've actually learned not only from the fitness side, I've actually learned a little bit about even like the social media side, just from kind of checking out your posts, how yeah. you do the comments and stuff yeah. like that. You know, it's like, there's a strategy. You're building, oh, like you're building, it's a strategy, bro. you're building yeah. the fitness empire. Everything is a strategy. Like you gotta like, when it comes to like building the page too, you gotta pre-write captions, bro. You have to do this, you have to do that. You have to like- Do you write um, those? What's up? Are you writing the captions? I write everything. Yeah. Okay. So I f I'll film on my own videos, mm -hmm. um, edit on my own videos. So like all of that work is like my actual work. Captions, I write on my own captions. Mm -hmm. Everything that's spoken on my page, I write it on myself. Um, yeah. So like all the spoken words we were talking about, like mm -hmm. any type of like poem or just like thing like that is all like me i write those um and that's like that's like another thing is this mm -hmm. is like mental stimulation for me and i don't want the thing this is the thing when it comes to my platform i want anybody that comes past my platform to take something from it whether it's like that was dope or whether it was like damn he makes a really good point or whether it's like damn this really got me thinking about my life you know what i mean or, or whether it's like wow that was actually funny but i still threw in um like knowledge within that comedy skit mm -hmm. right so it's like there's like food things that i have like that are like funny this and that, that you can take something from right because <laughs> i mean humor is like it's it's the international language everybody understands humor so for sure um when you can tie that into teaching them something right it's it ends up working so those are like some of the best videos on my page uh but i always want someone to come to my platform and leave with something and leave with something positive Right, so it's like I don't ever have anything negative. I got people that that hate on my shit all day, bro, mm -hmm. all day. Negative comments on my shit. Like I post the most positive thing in there. Like 
I'll post a photo that says, I hope you have a good day and someone will have some, like, yeah, some you're, you're a dickhead. And you know what I mean? So for me, it's like, I don't ever respond to that. You know what I mean? You don't ever give those people power. You don't ever, like, drain your energy on people like that. It is what sure. it is. Because there's going to be those. Yeah. And whatever, bro. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that to me is, like, my mission of people coming to my platform. That's it. And that's a good viewpoint to have because, like, you know, like you said, you literally have almost every type of content. You have, you know, something funny, something positive, something that's motivational. That's a good way to look at it. And I think, like, most people don't really understand. You're not just, like, doing the fitness thing and, like, looking like fucking gladiator you know you're actually like running a business yeah you know it's like a huge it's a it's a seven figure business yeah you know and it's actually cool to see in less than a year (laughs) in less than a year you know what i'm saying so and that's the cool thing is um you know i think the biggest thing that i kind of took away is you're doing things and it's something where everything you do is unique but it's not necessarily duplicatable and i don't know if you're thinking about it like that but like you are you and you're going out there and like raising the bar every single time so it's hard for someone to duplicate your business and that's something I learned a hard lesson in early on is like if you just do something to the standard the norm you're gonna get you're gonna get eaten alive you're not gonna be actually the point where you're actually getting like the fruits of your labor yeah so respect on that yeah I appreciate that so so let me ask you this for someone new someone brand new Mm -hmm. they're they're seeing Brandon they're seeing you do some crazy stuff like what's your body fat so, so I, just, I was just in Australia and we did yeah. like a little body scan thing. It was 7%. And even I was tripping like 7%, bro. Like low, low, but yeah. So you're walking around at 7%. Yeah, like normally. <laughs> how, does, how do you maintain that year round? It's, um, it's, it's not, it's, it's weird because to me it's not difficult, right? Mm-hmm. But because my life now it's it's my lifestyle mm-hmm. so i i eat clean consistently but that's because that's what i like to do that's what i like to eat that's what i like that food mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying um i make i just i just you know what i mean i don't make poor choices with like my health mm-hmm. overall and the thing is when i do the times that i do i work hard enough in the gym to to like cancel it out it's like if i want to go we want to go tonight we have dinner we eat dessert this and that blah blah tomorrow I'll cancel that shit out. You know what I mean? But that's that's just how I am. And that's how um, how I've been living and I've been consistent with my thing. You know what I mean? So it's a lifestyle. It has to be. Has Let me to ask be. you this, because at one point you had to do some different things to get to 7%. Oh, yeah. Did you like it when you started? Oh, no, I nobody does. Nobody does, bro. I mean, let's be honest. Like when you when someone's when you when you're used to eating like whatever you want to eat, and post made and eating mm-hmm. this and that and going out to dinners and stuff like that and like now you can't eat the macaroni and cheese now you like might not be able to eat carbs at night you just like are dying because you're hungry and you don't know what to do and someone tells you to drink a protein shake you're just like protein shake bro you know what i mean like it's it was difficult but um I understood that that's what I had to do to get to where I want to go. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, just like any other job, any other thing. There's like, there's going to be things that you don't want to do that you have to do to get there. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And the thing is like the people that get there are the people that do the things that they don't want to do. That's, right? That's cool to hear you say that because I thought you were just some like, just oh, free. Like, you nah, know what bro. I'm saying? Like, no, no one loves it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like, but that's what you have to do. You got to eat that. It's like me, I got to eat my chicken and broccoli. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But um luckily i mean i i can enjoy it Mm -hmm. or i can cook it well enough to enjoy it stuff like that it's cool to see though because like you know it's actually you started off and you said hey look i started off like everyone else Mm -hmm. i was normal you didn't like did you like working out or was it just kind of you know it was like it it was this is another thing too i I feel like a lot of people really starting out nobody really likes it until you start seeing results Mm -hmm. and that's that's always it so it's like that that is going to be the the determination of like how far you're going to take it right because mm-hmm. somebody sees results and then they fall off because they saw some results some people see results and they're like all right it's go time let me tighten this up let me tweak this up let me make sure i'm eating a little bit cleaner let me go a little bit harder you know what i mean let me add an extra workout on this week let me do you know what i'm saying just like you said when you level up you make an, you know what i mean close the deal you do this you do that you're almost hungry for something else mm-hmm. that's how the people that that when they hit it when they hit results and they want more same thing bro it's the same it's it's the same mental stimulation it's the same type of like enjoyment that you'll find it's weird it's like you you see and you're almost not necessarily addicted to it but you're like it's 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 time you know what i mean 
So it's, it's cool to see though, because you didn't necessarily like working out, you didn't necessarily like eating healthy, but you went and got results. You won, and you're like, I like, I like winning. Yeah. I keep winning. Yeah. You know, I think most people don't, they just don't understand. Like you have to, for me too, like it's like, now that I've experienced what it's been like in shape, or been to, to make a lot of money, yeah. or do anything, it's like, anytime I'm not doing it, I feel like You feel shit. weird, bro. You're out of the element. You're completely weird. out of the element, man. Yeah, and so that's, that's what it takes though, right? So you gotta get yourself into a position. So I've told people this, right? You, you will be successful with your fitness, You'll be successful, like with money. You'll be successful, stuff like that. When, when it becomes such a big part of your life that that you almost feel empty without it that day, right? Mm-hmm. It, it's it's a piece of your day, and you have to do some that day. So that comes that that comes down to not just this a workout, right? That comes down to if you're leveling up, you want to do this, you want to take your business to the next level. There's something you got to do every day to bring that business to that next level, right? Um, it's a step. It's a brick. It's a path. It's it's everything. It's so a is that path. is that what you're teaching people? Like, look, I want you to do this, and it's gonna be part, come part of your life. And I'm gonna teach you this. And when you don't do it, you're gonna kind of see. Like, is that kind of like what you're teaching people to do? Is that what's in your course, like at the higher levels? I or? mean, I don't, I don't necessarily want anyone to feel bad about anything, right? Mm-hmm. But um, that's the reality of it, mm-hmm. right? Is is that you you now make it make this is in my day it's in my life and like uh, you feel weird without it right so i think everybody right you can sit back and say what is something i might take you a second to think about like what is something so what is something you do every single day every day hands down no matter what something that you have to do in your daytime for some people it's like a a cup of coffee right something as simple as that they don't have a cup of coffee in the morning what is it for me, I honestly feel weird. Like I'll tell you my day today. Yeah. I woke up today at seven thirty. Yeah. I went to bed at one thirty. Yeah. You know, like working. I woke up at seven thirty. I kicked off a staff meeting. I go and we. Uh, I pay a consultant to come in. We look at statistics and stuff like that. I'm jumping in an interview with you. I'm going through. I'm jumping in each department. Um, and I had a slam day. You mm-hmm. know, I'm literally doing ten hour, twelve hour a day, mm-hmm. and I hit the gym, and mm-hmm. I hit the gym. So that day right there i feel good at the end of the day yeah when i go and have a little too much loafing time yeah and i'm not i actually don't feel like i push myself that that's it that's it for me so it has to be a full day a slam day but i would say there's definitely some things that i know that i love to do i do love to go and get that like that high at the end of the gym workout Mm -hmm. and i love to go and have like like a win just a win in business or a win on the charts where I'm making a couple, you know, I'm making, I'm making some, some money moves, honestly. Yeah. You know, I see 10 or 20 G's get injected to an account. I felt better that day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. <laughs> some good happened, but like, but this is, this is, so those, those, I guess necessarily those are always a, in your those hands, are extremes, right? Those you know, yeah. they, I try to make them yeah. in my hands. Yeah. But even when I was um, coming up and I was at the same point you were just getting by paycheck to paycheck. The days that I felt the best and the happiest were when I had that schedule, like you talked about, like the five or six a.m. I was up that early doing something, mm-hmm. and then I was putting in a ten or twelve hour day. And for me, I'm like extreme though. That's yeah. not like gonna make a lot of people feel good. No, no, no. But but at the but it you feel accomplished and yeah. you feel fulfilled, right? Mm-hmm. So like I was saying, it's like it's it's everybody has something in their day there's some people that want to go home and they have to watch a fucking tv show there's mm-hmm. some people that that have to do this they have to do that right so when the workout becomes one of those things in your day when you don't do it mm-hmm. it feels weird mm-hmm. you almost feel like you your day is not fulfilled you didn't accomplish everything that you should have that you know that you should have been there because you know that this is the goal this is where i want to be this is the progress i make and i know that if I'm missing this out, I'm taking a step back, right? You know, so like it's 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 instilling that in someone's mind that okay, this is if this is where you want to go, this is what you have to do, and they f- and you feel weird when you don't do so it. So, what are your top three three priorities? Like three things you're like, I have to get this done. My three priorities. Wow. So like a workout for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I mean, I guess it's I put out something every day, whether it's um. I mean, I put out, I put out like a saying every day to my people. Like I start every morning, I'll start like it's another beautiful day to have a beautiful day. Just mm-hmm. remind people like, and even that saying alone, I'm, I'm gonna get that that shit coined or trademarked. You should get that like, trademarked. Because like, yeah. <laughs> like even people been hitting me up like, yo, you better mark that. Yeah. But um, but it's something as simple as that. 
that I mean, there's a lot. Of, I think a lot. Of, I think it goes over a lot of people's heads. And they don't really think about it, right? Because like, whether I put out a thing the other day and I said it doesn't matter what your day looks like, mm -hmm. you know, um, beautiful day is not necessarily like it's it's not a physical thing, mm -hmm. right? Every, every day is beautiful. We get, we woke up. We get mm -hmm. to breathe. We got this. You know what I mean? And like find find gratitude in your day. Find gratitude upon like a, a waking up. Find gratitude going to sleep of like what you were able to do and what you were able to accomplish. Like just, just like the, the gift of life that you had that day that some people don't have. Some people are not as fortunate. Some people don't have, you know what I mean? Like just, just, just resources that some we have. Some people aren't in America. Some people, some they don't people have, have water. Nothing, they have yeah. no food in other countries, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's really important me, for me to ground, to ground yourself. So for me, that's another thing too. So. Um, like workout and then I do a, I'll, I'll give people a workout every day, like a workout of the day. I give them like uh, some type of like motivational message or like something to help them either stimulate their mind, motivate them. And it's not always the same vibe. It might be like, yo, it's time to like get up off your ass and go do something today. Or it's um, something like that. Like remember to be, be grateful for what you have today or this, mm -hmm. that, you know what I mean? But um, that's two things. Third thing I would think, uh, I don't know. I, every every day, um, whether it's in the morning or whether it's in the night, for me, I take um, it, whether it's ten minutes, whether it's five minutes, whether it's something. There's always a, por a, a portion of my day that I, I legit have a moment to myself in dead silence, just to think about things, right? And it's mm -hmm. it's it's either to um, set myself up for where I want to be, envision myself for what I want to be. You know what I mean? Because I think manifestation is 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 like a really really key part of did you of, see did you see yourself at seven percent before it happened did you see, <laughs> no, did hell you no. see hell no. no i mean it gets to a point that like i did like a fitness competition and stuff mm -hmm. like that you know so it's like i see myself with those things but um it's like i don't I'm not, that that was a goal but it i felt like i was that's something i was gonna do at some point in time mm -hmm. anyway but mm -hmm. um yeah, I don't know. Just like, just like big, big visions of of things. Of like, I want to fuck. There's so many things I want to do, bro. I want like, I want to change the lives of kids. You know what I mean? I want to. I just want to help as many people as possible, right? And it sounds like it could sound like cliche shit, but mm -hmm. but when it goes back and like see the proof in the pudding, it's like I legitimately will try to do something every day to help somebody in some aspect. Nice. Yeah. yeah, and it's like that's that is what is fulfilling for me, and so for me, like that's a key piece of my day every day at whatever point in time, whether I'm I was just in Australia, I was just in UK, Amsterdam, all of that, and still. I'll put out content for people. That's awesome to see, actually, because you know a lot of people will think, and I think there's kind of like levels people go through. Yeah. You know, you have like the first level of like, hey, people are just trying to get by. I'm trying to survive, and then a lot of people think there's fulfillment in like the success, the car, the this, the that, wow. you know. And then you kind of get to that point, and you're like, okay, cool. I want to kind of get to the next level, and then finally, I think you get to a point where you realize like you have that purpose bigger than yourself, right? Yeah. And it's cool that you're, you know, you're on that especially in the space you're in because like there's people that are in that space and they're not even they're just not about that you yeah. know like there's a lot of products out there that are bullshit or oh, yeah, people out yeah. there representing things that they don't necessarily believe in that's why you know, I use, so. like you look at my page you see no products on my page because mm. i don't have one yet yeah the one that i have honestly i'm probably it will probably be mine yeah. i'll probably make my own and like that's that's like really what it's come down to is either like at some point soon, we're either gonna find the one that I really, really like, or I'm just have to make my own shit. Cause it's, I won't do that. I won't rep. I won't rep something that like that mm -hmm. I don't actually believe in to use myself. Cause I just, I don't know. I, I, longevity is based on authenticity, and if if you cannot be authentic at least now before the longevity, mm -hmm. bro, this you're gonna get eaten up at some point. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get picked out. Somebody's gonna call you out on some shit, right? Mm -hmm. and, it, and you see it happen with a lot of a lot of influencers, bro. A lot Definitely. of influencers that like, this guy was photoshopping, this guy was doing this, this guy was repping this, but now he's now he's with this brand. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're just like, yo. So it's like, I mean, granted, there's a lot of money I'm missing out on by not repping all this other shit, but to me, it's not, it's not what it is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter to me. I can make, I'll make this money somewhere else. You know what I mean? Definitely. It's not about, it's not about, like a quick buck on shit like that because bro the quick buck the quick buck will get spent quick it doesn't matter bro at the end it's of the day it's, the it's like it brings, your, it brings the it brings your value down in the long run it doesn't do anything for you
for sure. I think it ties back into that instant gratification thing. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, exactly. It's not going to be worth it long run. So, so what's the next move? What is like the future look like, man? I mean, I mean, motivated fit. We have. Um, so right now, we a lot of my focus on motivated fit, mm-hmm. um, which is like you went through it. It's yeah. Body, yeah. So our Solid, our yeah. very original course, body weight, um, has like mindset in there and stuff like that. But. Um, we now have we're gonna run motivated fit events we're gonna run um like one-on-one motivated fit but we're also gonna open up the umbrella and the spectrum for motivated fit too we'll have um like a motivated fit boxing you know a motivated fit yoga a motivated a motivated this that so we within this next year the expansion will be big and yeah i mean and to see how far it's come in in i mean we really didn't even sell the first motivated fit course so i think it was like july 30th wow and you have that because i've seen like tons of testimonials like really like you're posting all the time thousands yeah insane thousands and 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 these are people that had never had to step foot into a gym and so that was that's what we focused on first is it's you at some point in time depending on where you want to go with your body you'll have to step foot into a gym right mm-hmm. depend it just depends on what you want right if you just want to get lean and stuff like that you could do it at home but um you inspire me man it, i gotta show you we got, we got a little that. we got a little outside gym right here yeah little, yeah i appreciate yeah, that yeah. but it's like it i wanted to instill the the mindset more than anything right of like this is what you have to do to get started this is what you have to do to get going this is what you have to do to keep it this is what you have to remember and this is what you need to do not just for the fitness shit but like this think about this in your time like when you're working out when you're done working out when you're in a long time this and that think about all the things that i'm telling you and, and apply this to to every aspect apply this to your business you know what i mean apply this to your family bro apply this to this apply this to that and like find you know what i mean the the correlation between it all and realize that everything it's all under the common denominator of of just like sticking with it you know what i mean believing yourself um staying consistent in it putting in the work like fucking hard ass work bro it is but um, is that the best way for people to start though like jump in and go all in or have you seen more of like you know like the gradient approach like what like tell you know tell the people listening like what is the best way to jump in everybody's different so that's that that's the thing everybody's different and um you'll find like i mentioned with clients before that that some of them really really want and they want it now you know Mm -hmm. what i mean so they'll do whatever it takes some of them are like they they want it but they're like don't really want to do the work and like this is this this makes them tired like they don't feel good doing this it's Mm -hmm. not you know what i mean um no i don't i don't think you need to change your life like that it's everything is gradual right so um i think it i think it comes down to first and foremost um knowing what you want you know this is what i want this is what i want out of this i want to start a workout plan or i want to start a fitness plan i want to start a regimen i want to do something to change my life for the better right mm-hmm. whether it's like getting in shape whether it's this whether it's that whether it's cleaning out your system whatever um it's it's really focusing and honing in on on the goal so i always i always say like First and foremost, write write it down. Write down your goals. You know what I mean. Make it real. Read it. Let yourself know. Like, okay, I'm telling myself this. I can make it happen. This and that. Believe in yourself. Actually, when it comes to I that actually shit. like really love that part of your course, like the mindset part. Because yeah. like I'm about it. I was yeah. already about it. I was like, oh, that's sick. Because I've taken looked at other fitness stuff and they don't necessarily have that piece yeah you know it's actually funny the thing that you did with like write your rules down yeah that's like the same thing i do except for i'm doing it with like you know trading and stuff like yeah business but it's cool because people are missing that i think that's the thing that i like best about your course is you're actually plugging in that extra piece of like what's the mental aspect of really tackling this you know yeah and that's like that that to me is first and foremost that's why it's first in the course that's why it's like the thing that we preach about we preach about in ads we talk about it you know what i mean that's like what i give to my people all the time because that that is what's going to change your life in the long run Mm -hmm. is you you really like envisioning the person that you want to be and believing yourself and believing yourself that you can do that and find it knowing that like i have everybody bro everybody was born with gifts everybody was born with ability everybody was born they can they can do whatever it is that they want to do if they believe that you know what i'm saying so it's that part of the mindset that i believe that i believe is first always and then it comes down to just doing more than you're doing now right so make the healthier choices when it comes to the food when you go out like if you you want to eat the cheeseburger but get the chicken sandwich instead 
You is know that what means? you're? Is that like you? Like on a daily, like daily, weekly basis? Like, are you at the restaurant? Like, you are conscious ninety nine point nine. Always, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, it depends. It depends. Like when I know that I can cheat, like I'll cheat. When I like, when I've like really just been going hard, I can cheat. And for me, it. it doesn't do anything for me because I'm here, mm -hmm. right? So it's a, it's a different story for people that are trying to get there. Mm -hmm. So I think like try to be as strict as possible on your way there, and then you know what I mean. Not saying like nobody's perfect, mm -hmm. you know I'm not, but um, on your way there, just just try to make as many better choices as you can. The more better choices you make than not better choices, you'll make progress. That's it. You know what I mean? Good choices, bad choices. It is what it is. So, and that comes down to the workouts as well. So it's like, this is the thing, this is the thing is like everybody, most people can push themselves a lot harder than they think when it comes to like actual physical exertion, mm -hmm. right? And when you are in the gym, I think, think about when you get done with it, like, I could have done a little bit more on that. Like, damn, I probably could have ran a little bit faster on that. Like, I don't really feel that tired. Or like, so you tell yourself this really after, that exhausted. after the workout. Oh yeah, like even me, like where I'm at at this level, like, damn, I could have probably done a little bit more than that. You know what I mean? Or like something like that. But mm -hmm. for for people starting out, I think it's just just do what you can. But the thing is, no, no, realistically, that you can probably do more than you think that you can, or that you're saying that you can. Right. So it's mm -hmm. it's do what you can. Push yourself as much as you can. Not saying like you might not be able to finish all the workouts all the first time. It's always progress, this and that. But um, I think it's interesting you actually tell yourself that though, because like, oh yeah, that's something that my dad was a marine, so you know he's like, hey son, your your body will break down before you do. Always, you know. Yeah. So for me, like I got raised like that, and I was a wrestler, and then I still do this this day. But I didn't even actually really realize that you were doing it. That I was doing it. Yeah. But I was doing it. You know, I would say something like, oh, I fucking love that. Yeah. Like, or I felt good. Yeah. But, you know, which is kind of like, just like, really, you know, I was like, oh, cool. You're doing it. And it must be right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's it. And it's like, that's, it's just whatever you're doing in life, mm -hmm. bro, doesn't matter. And like, this is, this is why I always try to like tie that correlation back to like life in different aspects. It's like, you can take, you can take it with a physical, a physical aspect, like a metaphor or whatever example that yeah you can push yourself harder here but also like even when it comes to your business there's times that i'm sure you're like you know what i mean mm, i don't really like feel like doing this right now maybe i'll like mm. chill for a second this and that like this is time that maybe you could have made progress there are times that that you just just with anything in life don't don't get done with something knowing that you could have done more you know what i mean and and you'll always do better. That's mm -hmm. it. If you if you're if you continuously so, finish things and you think and you think about them, and it's like I could have done more right there. Uh, I could have done more right here. I could have done better right here. Because I should could have tried harder right here. So I, I tell like I talk to um to my audience. I have a lot of kids in, in school and college and stuff mm -hmm. like that. The thing is like my my school wasn't that great because I really didn't like to be there. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have the mindset that I have now. It's very different, right? So it's like what's the, what's the worst thing that can happen with you in school? Yeah, smell the gas. I mean, you fail. But like, so, but are you just you just being in school, right? So yeah, the worst sure. thing of like, you don't want to sit in class. It's mm -hmm. the worst thing that can happen, bro. You sit there and learn something, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. So, with the time that you have, just try to ma try to maximize it. Whether it's the workout, whether it's school, whether it's your work, whether it's uh, bro, your relationship. What was you know it like I mean? for you though, man? Because obviously you didn't have this mindset. Now you're like looking at things like, how do I maximize production? How do I get the most out of my workout? Yeah. How do I push myself more? But like, how'd you like? What was the transition like? Was it a day? Was it a transition no, of time? No, it takes time. It takes time, and it takes, and not even that. It's just learning from like other people and reading books and hearing other people speak, and you you listen to other people's success stories, mm -hmm. and what did they do? You know what I mean? And um, like, you, you did you read David Go David Goggins' book? No, I haven't read that one. It was great. So he was um. He was like 307 pounds, couldn't make it in the Navy, this and that, like was trying to be a SEAL, um, could never pass the fitness test, this and that, with sprained brooches and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, decided one day that he wanted to do it, he lost, he had, he had to cut to 175 pounds within months, mm -hmm. and did it. 
and for him it was just it was i i know what i want i'm gonna get what i want you know who's really good at this too um conor mcgregor bro like oh, I yeah i love i love watching yeah. those documentaries yeah you watch actually the if you look there's uh see that right there yeah oh yeah, yeah i have yeah, a yeah, bunch right of quotes of different people yeah yeah so he's great at this and it's like a lot of people might think he's cocky he's a dickhead this and that but for me when i look at him he's somebody that knows what he wants and he, and he does what he needs to do to get what he, get what he wants bro mm -hmm. he manifests he manifests it. and like when you watch a documentary he writes world champion on all of his mm -hmm. water bottles because every time he or, takes a sip you, every time he's one, tired. you know he has the shaped head right yeah it's like you know hey i will be the state champion he has like has one loss in two yeah wins. <laughs> and like yeah a kid bro yeah so it's like it's it, it like people like that also along the way that have been influences on me that I've learned from that I've like boosted my mindset changed my mentality that you know what I mean you see people like that and it's like clearly he's doing something right clearly that guy's doing something right clearly that guy's doing something right think about it, he put it all together they're all in different games they're all in different just just mm -hmm. industries this and that but what is it they all know what they want to be and they and they do the work to get there mm -hmm. and that's it you know what I'm saying so it's like that's that would i don't know just that's like that, people like that I, are like I actually totally i actually totally get it this is something that i'm huge on is because like you know this is actually what i did because one day i realized i got taught everything i know from my parents mm -hmm. and they don't know how to do what i wanted to do which was like my main thing was like i want to build a business mm -hmm. i want to learn how to invest i want to do this this and this and get rich basically yeah so what i did was is i went and looked at everybody kind of like how you did i looked at a lot of stories stories like helped me so much yeah and i looked and i saw like all right i found these three successful people and they all said the same thing i'm gonna try to believe that and yeah. operate off that and yeah. then it worked but it's cool to see that you did that same exact thing because like literally just applying it more like to your space but like you said it's everywhere doesn't matter yeah doesn't matter you can apply you can take even like you so for me to use conor mcgregor as like an, mm -hmm. an influencer or an example and you're like oh me too you know what i mean <laughs> goes to show that it's like it doesn't necessarily need to be the same industry business this that doesn't matter it's it's a, a mindset is completely different bro when mm -hmm. your when your mind is right like that it's whatever industry you are in whatever goal you got set whatever like lane you want to you want to pick and, mm -hmm. and like beast and you can do it mm -hmm. yeah and you just and and you'll you'll do it you'll do what it takes you'll do the research that you need to get there you'll learn what you need you know like that's that's like what it comes down to. I think a lot of people say that they want things. So I have a spoken word, right? And uh, Dan, let me see if I remember the whole thing. But it's it's about that. It's about like wanting things. Mm -hmm. And so it goes. Um, it goes. How bad do you want it? It's a simple for que It's a simple question for everybody that's not where they want to be yet, right? Because what's power? Knowledge. Oh, you mm -hmm. thought it was money. Let me cut you a reality check, right? Because don't you be the type that does more talk than do because like sun rays to blackout shades they never come through mm. so how do you expect to push a rolls royce in your post if you're a phantom at taking action and your work ethic is ghost wow All right so it's it doesn't work like that and it only works when you work like that and you you can't work like that everybody can't right you have all the tools you need right here in your brain. Your mind is a Picasso, so build it a strong frame, right? It's a strong mind frame. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's a strong mind frame, right? Yeah, definitely. So um, if you need help, um, start it. How did it go? If you need help, um, it's listen to this. Start at the beginning of the process. Write down your goals and make it real, manifest it, and obsess it. Um, you, have to, you have to literally reach out. Wait, what is it? is manifest it and obsess it you have to oh you have to know there's no way there's no way that you won't have it you have to literally envision yourself reach out and grab it mm. right so you're reaching out you you envision it you already got it so you're right writing, you're writing those spoken words yeah. like that's what's up yeah, yeah. so and it's just like that it's like you 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 see it you want it you envision yourself it's here nothing there's nothing in this world that you can't have here you know mm. what i mean so it's just it's right there how bad do you want it is there one that you're like, man, I know this one, like, this is like, like, I know, like, my heartbeat, you know, it's like, I got this one just locked up, like, you know, one that's like, just, you know, it's close to you. Fuck, spoken words? Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember almost all of them. So that one, that one I liked because most of them, most of them I've done up until that point are like more so, not necessarily like emotional, but they just, they're just deep right mm -hmm. so like that one is cool for, more so for like an entrepreneurial like aspect mm -hmm. mindset and it like drops like rolls royce references and stuff like that mm -hmm. for people that understand it right mm -hmm. but um damn like the first one that i dropped was really good give me give think. us hit, hit us with one. Oh, so let me think of like so i did a new year's one 
2018. Um, it was. We'll use this for the intro. Okay. Yeah. So it, it started yeah. out. It started out. It was a New Year's one. It's 2018, but we can we can call it um, 2019 then. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So it would have been. Um, let me think. Look at you. You made it. Damn, I need like the first like few, uh, the first like few. Hold on one yeah, second. Go, yeah, we yeah, just got yeah, this, but this will be dope it. for the intro for sure. Because th this one is dope. This one is really good. It's a really dope message. Yeah, so there was one There was one that I had, I had written. Um, every, people, everybody wants to make a New Year's resolution, right? Mm -hmm. And fitness is always like a big part of it. But I didn't want it, even though that I'm in health and fitness, I didn't, I didn't really want it to just be about that. I want people to, um, to make everlasting resolutions i think i think new year's revolutions revolution the resolutions are it's mm -hmm. like it's almost just like a, a like a not necessarily it sets you up to fail but it's 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 like okay let's make a resolution to change something in the short run without following through and keeping it that way right and i want people to i want you to really think about it and and make changes that are really going to make you better forever right so love that yeah, yeah so it started out it started out so we'll, we'll do like this year like it's 2019 congrats look at you you made it new year new you right um new resolutions time for some changes right but instead of new year changes this time let's make life changes let's set everlasting intentions like mm. let's make today the start of less talk and more action more doing more giving more motivation more compassion let's um work together with positive minds and generous hearts let's unite our light against the darkness that we've let tear us apart we need to start picking each other up instead of putting each other down even help a stranger reverse that frown mm. and like i even stopped in that and i'm like hold on if you want smiling like if you want smiling like i'm gonna need you to smile <laughs> right now you know what i mean yeah it's funny because a lot of people hit me and they're like yo this shit was funny but um yeah you know, that's why you're on legends last you know you're making, it, you're making an impact and that's like people think legends last you know this is like you know someone that's gonna have a statue built that's a legend no like legends last like to me it's like every single person here is gonna leave a legacy even yeah. if you don't want to yeah. you're gonna talk to people unless you lock yourself in a closet and you don't talk to anyone you're gonna have a legacy you're gonna oh, yeah. impact someone yeah so it's like hey we we'll all have our own path you actually did this one about this so this one was dope I actually oh, the just, path one. yeah the path one yeah because yeah. we all have our own path yeah and along that path you will impact people you're gonna have a legacy yeah and that's what that's what i have you on here man you're fucking crushing it Appreciate you know it, you're leaving impacting mil you probably i don't know if you actually know like how many people are you impacting every month I mean, you can put like an, an Instagram statistic on it, but um, it's, it, it, I mean, it's pretty incredible when, so this, this is crazy. I was just traveling mm -hmm. and I had, I was just in London and randomly, mm -hmm. the, I, I have random people in London stop me on the street. They're like, yo, be motivated. Holy shit, coach, but holy shit, you're here. You know what I mean? Um, there was a girl that I had met, um, um, Andrea, super mm -hmm. cool, amazing chick. I uh, I just happened, I was just Googling healthy restaurants mm -hmm. around my hotel, happened to walk into this one spot and it was a vegan spot. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I don't normally, I'm not like a vegan myself. I, I'm like, I'm health conscious about a lot of things and stuff like that, but I found this spot, it just looked good. It had mm -hmm. great reviews, I walk in. And it's funny because as soon as I walked in, I'd seen a girl that was looking at me and you can almost, you can almost tell if, that someone recognizes mm -hmm. you and mm -hmm. I'm like, all right and so it's all communal seating it's like picnic tables mm -hmm. and they were like the um the uh waitress comes up to me and she was like well you can really sit wherever but she was like this is kind of the only spot that we have and it was it was right next to her <laughs> and so i sit there and she was like you you have a fitness page on instagram mm -hmm. i was like yeah and she's like holy shit and she was like i she was like bro i've been following you for a long time i just didn't know if that was you and she was like i'm actually um the executive chef for this restaurant Nice. I was like, no way. She was like, she was like, yeah. And she was like, dude. She was like, listening. She bought the course. Mm -hmm. Um, went through that, and she was like, I I pay heavy attention to the stories that you post. Um, I do a lot of speaking in my stories, so I pay heavy attention to the stories that you post. But all of like the other the other speaking stuff. She was like, granted, like the workout stuff is great, and and she's gotten herself into like a lot better shape than she was. Wow. But for her, it was like I'm saying. She was like, it starts with accepting yourself and believing in yourself and she had a hard time she's she had like eating disorders and um just like bad um like just like a body dysmorphia right she just wasn't wasn't ever happy in her skin and she didn't know how to love herself and she was like it was a lot of things from you that that i learned 
to you know what I mean focus on what's important in life and focus and, and realize that I am who I am you know what I mean and I, I need to love myself regardless because because of it is what it is and that's like pretty much the essence of life you know mm -hmm. so yeah we go through this and, and it's crazy because as she was executive set for Soho House 10 years oh wow yeah and she was like that was that was a position where I was stuck I was working so often this and that blah blah I didn't really have time to focus on myself and she was like if, if anything I just wasn't I really wasn't happy with anything mm -hmm. so she got out of that she started making food from her heart right and everything came from her heart out so she started she began to love herself and accept herself and this and that and she was like my life has leveled up on so many different ways because of that and because because you know what I mean I, I changed my mindset Mm -hmm. And she was like, and the mindset was the beginning of everything. The mindset was the beginning of me being happy enough and positive enough to go into the gym without like, like worrying about anything. Me being positive enough to like cook the food that I want to cook and do this and do that. And it's like, that story was dope. And that was crazy because it was like lit where I'm in a different country and I just walk into a restaurant and it just, she just happened to be there. So like things, it's, it's things like that, that, um, I mean, yeah, like they make it all worth it. But again, like, bro, it's, it's. I know that um, I need to continue doing what I'm doing because of stories like that. That's it. that's actually it's something crazy. where like you know you're talking about it being correlated and it's all you know directly connected and that's one thing like if you guys watching this right now you haven't gone through this course it's more than just health and fitness you you go deep man yeah you're going deep and yeah deep, you I've, know. Had, I've had plenty of people write me and they're like yo dudes yeah dudes that have written me and they're like I just went through I just went through the mindset portion they were like I blasted through the whole thing right now they're like i cried there's wow. a lot of people that are like i cry guys girls but like even yeah to hear that like from guys and it's like it is what it is i think people frown upon something like that mm -hmm. look at dudes is like being weak is like this and that but to me it's like this is somebody that is ready to grow mm -hmm. you know what i mean somebody that's in touch with themselves and their emotions and this and that it's like it doesn't matter that a dude cries or not but mm -hmm. if anything it's like it's good for a guy to cry because i feel like it's like there's like such a masculine thing in society that dudes can't show emotions and this and that blah blah but it's mm -hmm. like you can never really be yourself your true self accept yourself and, and be your authentic self without ever releasing any emotion right you gotta be fucking out crying every night shit but like you know what i mean but like but when it comes down to it and you realize something like that like um he like to to read things like that of guys and guys that are vulnerable enough to come to me like and tell me that right yeah um i think that's dope because sure. those are people that are that are like about to make a change for real you know mm -hmm. and whether it's like a reality check for them whether it's like this that i don't know i don't know what it was or what point of it was or like what it is but for if, if it's touching them in that way um that makes me happy because that's, that's i mean that's when you what think I about do. you think about that you know you obviously did something for them it's crazy to think about, you know, however many people that is, maybe it's a hundred, maybe it's a thousand, maybe it's 2000, whatever it is where you have that impact. I already know, just, I already know that person right there. Now that you did that, they're going to, they're going to positively impact, you know, a yeah. hundred people, 200 people. And it's like crazy. It's, it's a rip, it's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's, it's, it's you, you drop that, whether it's a motivated fit course, whether it's content, whether it's this, it's like, it's a drop in, in for people to take that and it disperses from their experience positively you know what i mean they're changing lives and now so whether it be like this might be a kid in the middle of nowhere that doesn't have access to a gym that you know what i mean that all he had was an extra 49 bucks on him and ended up buying the course that now he's getting in shape and now maybe um maybe his parents weren't always the healthiest and now he's over here giving advice to his parents on like this and that blah blah now maybe his parents are starting to get in shape because they don't need to go anywhere they can do the workout at home mm. right now maybe his parents are buying better food for the family so now the entire family is living a little bit better maybe you know what i'm saying so it's yeah. like it's it's things like that that, that like that make make the big difference bro it, like and it just continues to grow it's like an inspiration thing it's a ripple of inspiration that goes out well, man, I, I appreciate having you on here. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, for everybody watching this right now, you guys, you guys actually saw a whole new side. I was expecting you to come on here and be like, you know what? I have the three secrets for you to get ripped tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, uh, no, it's actually cool to kind of see this whole other side. And if you guys are watching this right now and you have any ounce of motivation to do something about your health, you got to connect with Brandon. So thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Definitely, man. Yeah, definitely, bro.